We are actually going cruising to, where are we going? Oh, oh well. Looks like there's a sailboat in there. And nothing like doing a stern tie on a 78 footer plane. This marine park has rings attached to shore for boats to attach their stern lines to. I'm gonna feed this line out for you right now. You're gonna take it. As we back up, hey, as we back up after. Just in case someone wanted to come past us. And those were the highlights from last episode when we took Tangaroa to Wallace Island and we had a very successful stern tie. Hey everyone and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago we decided that it was time for our family to move on to a boat. But not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course being the crazy people we are we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. Good morning, Blaine. Good morning. We're in an anchorage. Did we you are. sleep okay? No, not Why? great. Why? I don't know, probably three beer. Oh, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Good morning, everybody. Let me show you what it's like to wake up in a beautiful anchorage. It's nice and peaceful. Let me show you. Okay, look at It's so quiet. No one's generators are even on. Don't you wish we could wake up every morning like this, Blaine? We're almost there. Somebody does have something running or whatever. It sounds like a heater. It might be Kristen Dave's heater. It could be Kristen Dave's heater. But that's it's okay. On the boat. It's so pretty. This is what we're doing this morning in Wallace. It's like, what, 7 a.m.? Stay warm, we have coffee, we have tea. And we just play and enjoy ourselves in the peacefulness. We don't do our hair. Messy hair, don't care. No, is that what they say? I think that's what they say. Messy hair, don't care. <laughs> but no, it's a beautiful morning here. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page. For every 10 patrons that sign up, we do a draw and give out some really cool stuff. I think the time around here is eight o'clock. Everybody turns on their generators. What do you think, B? Yeah. Because Chris and Dave just did. These guys just did. Then go here turn on. Are. Go turn on our generator. <laughs> here we are sitting here this morning. We've already had two cups of tea and two cups of coffee, and we still have seventy percent battery power left over. And we shut the generator off at like four o'clock yesterday afternoon or something no when we arrived yeah no about two about two yeah so the batteries were at 94 percent at two o'clock in the afternoon and they're at 70 percent. are you now. being a solar snob blaine I'm, I'm not a solar snob it's a lithium snob you're a lithium snob, a lithium snob. oh look chris is awake I think it was a funny morning because poor Maggie woke up and couldn't find us. So usually at about 7 o'clock she jumps into bed with me when Blaine goes to work. And then she's probably wandered around the boat because we're sitting on the bow. And suddenly I just heard a little scritch scritch on the outside door. She found us. She found us. Found us. Now she looks pretty happy. Yeah. But it was pretty funny. 
Maggie was like, where are my people? He says, I got some warm fire on my bum. Feeling pretty good. Yes. All this stuff to look at. So many smells, look at her. She's like, whoa. Yeah. What do you think, Mags? Happy dog. She's like, can someone just take me ashore to go pee? Happy dog. And with Maggie getting desperate, we headed to show her for a walk. Good morning, this is us taking Maggie for a walk in the morning. And then we're gonna take the tender and do a little, I never remember what the word, gunk holing. Oh, look at the driftwood. It's like we're running in circles, going around every day. I think somebody put this here to sit. It is the perfect place to sit and just, Breathe. I don't think I breathe enough sometimes. Don't you wanna go further? Wow. Away from the face. Let's <laughs> make it stuck in the face. We'll make our way. Won't you come out? Check out this cool tree right here. Okay, I've lost Blaine. Blaine! So pretty out here on the point. <laughs> Maggie, you can't go under there. She's like, but there's a Canada goose right there. All the different rock formations. Like these ones are all just like spotted. Like this looks like honeycomb here. Feels like a heavy burden. But I can't believe it. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, there's a seal. Where? Or is this a fake? At least now I'm feeling better. But this is a beautiful. Yeah, this was all glacial. We can walk all the way along here, right? There are oysters, but you can't eat them here. Oh, these are spitting. All these little cone shells. There's so many. Oh, they're alive. There's little. There's little stuff in them. And these are barnacles. Oh, like this one. That's alive. A little clam. He's alive. We'll put him back. Big holes here. I don't know what's in them. So I want to find out. Huh? Gooey duck abalone? Could be gooey ducks. I gotta do some research on what we can eat around here. We know we can eat oysters, crabs, and prawns. And fish, but we don't really catch fish. We gotta figure that out too, but... Looks like there's like clams and everything here. Just jump up. <laughs> well, it's harder on a leash. Oh. oh, yeah, look at her scratches. Right there, trying to get up. <laughs> How am I going to get up here? It's much easier if you make a sound effect while doing it. Yes. Kind of like, wah! Hi! Hi! Sure. That almost sounds like I'm having a baby. <laughs> so 
So they just released their stern line and they're pulling up their anchor. Thank you, staff. We're up here. And we've got room on our boat, so we're just gonna take this stuff, which shouldn't be here, and it's been here for a while. We'll get it out of here. Right? Yep, just get rid of it. Yep. Doesn't need to be here. No. Shouldn't have been here in the first place. Yucky foam. We're gonna go gun calling, but the motor isn't peeing. I think the motor turned off because it knows I need another cup of tea and it's giving me time. Maybe. You think so, Blaine? Probably. Go fix it. This is a good job of having an engineer on board and why it's important to, um, what people say, know your boat. Because the fact that we had barely left it and Blaine noticed that the engine wasn't peeing if we had gone a long way. Blaine, what would happen if the engine wasn't peeing? It would overheat. And? Seize. Oh, we don't want seize engine. No. That would we suck. I'm getting a good video of your butt right now. Yep. Oh, you check it all the time for spitting? Oh yeah. And now it's not spitting. Um. Outboard engine, it's always good once you turn it on to make sure it's spitting coolant out. It's kind of like when we turn on the engine on uh, this boat, Tangaroa, we go to both sides, starboard and port, to make sure the engine cooling water is spitting out the sides, because if it's not, all bad. We actually watched a boat um, last week. We were actually going to go and help it. It's a little sailboat and he was heading out and suddenly he looked like he was on fire. All this black or gray smoke was coming out. Not gray, it was like white. Until I said, hey Blaine, is that boat on fire? Because it was so much. It was enveloping the whole boat. And Blaine looks like, he's like, no, that's steam. And Blaine on back, he said that the coolant is blocked. So the coolant wasn't e cooling up the engine or the impeller was hooped. Right? So... Eventually he got um, towed back in. We were going to go help, but he went way the heck out there and just kept going with the steam coming out of his boat. But we were watching him the whole time and he had someone else on board and he got a tender overboard and his dinghy towed himself back into the dock to fix his engine. So I'm glad he stopped. So I, I am a massive tea drinker. I love my tea. I drink it like all the time. Good old red rose tea with milk, no sugar. Um, sometimes I have peppermint depending on, um, I don't know how I'm feeling, but Today is good old Red Rose. I know it's so nice to have an electric kettle on a boat. A little bit spoiled that way, hence we have a heck of a lot of lithium batteries. So I can do this. This is my favorite to-go cup. Because it has the BC Sasquatch on it. All done in uh, First Nations art. Which goes down to there. So if I what are you blowing up there? Uh, just trying to get a flow on anything here. That goes to there. This is the the jet out of the side of the motor. Yeah. That was plugged. <laughs> okay. Where do we need to clean it? I just blow it through it. Did you blow it? Yep. Can you tell me when to turn it on again? That's so simple. Yep. Well, they're pretty small, right? So you get any kind of trash through there and it plugs them up. Somewhere in the great unknown When 
not return from the afterglow. Big deadhead. These, these are deadheads. These are bad. When you hit those with a boat, Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. You're just breathing and taking in the, the everything around us because this is absolutely stunning. And it's hard to explain. We can show you video as much as possible, but until you can smell it and hear it, and you can almost taste the salt and the seaweed in the air. And the, yeah, beautiful. What? Big rock, Blaine. Shallow rock. Ooh, that was close. Yep. Good eye. You can go on the inside of it. Or the outside. Ooh, oh, big shallow rock there too. Ooh. See, I'm not the only, actually, I guess I'm the only one that hits rocks. I've hit two. Blaine actually sees them before we hit them. Me, not so much. I'm not very good at that. But I just keep buying propellers. <laughs> right, Blaine, get with propellers? I said I get a bulk discount for all the propellers Janice chews up. <laughs> He's so <laughs> sometimes. Yes, I hit things with propellers. I actually have a scar all the way up my leg from running into a coral reef in Tahiti and stepping down on the coral. And seriously, I scratched the whole shit of my leg and the scar is still there, but... But I have fun doing it! Yes. <laughs> Do it with gusto. I hit with gusto, man. Look at the logs, they're just kind of stuck here. You can bring the boat in here and tie onto here. No? Lane doesn't trust moorings. We don't tie our boat onto any moorings. This one's pretty big though, Blaine. What's on the far side of it? Look. Oh, it's an old ball that's sunk. You back to my youth, oh. water. What I wish I knew. My will is oh. strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung my spoon. You're coming in on the other side of the log. Get it, Meg. Get the log. When I return from my skin and bone. the bottom all the shells nice job now it's getting deeper you also got your blacker seaweed the dark seaweed A little bit of Frank's Red Hot, a little bit of ketchup. Oh, it's gonna be good. They're almost ready. Just gotta wait for that to get white over there. Again, this is basted because I don't like the chicken slime stuff on the eggs, so everything's gotta be cooked. Perfectly dippable? Perfectly Let's see. Dippable. Oh, perfectly dippable eggs. Mm -hmm. Yum. So it's time to head to our next anchorage. We're heading to Montague Harbor next. Um, but we're just going to go really slow. There is no wind in this bay, which is nice because you can just slow everything down. There's no rush. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to release the stern line and you can see it here. So this is a stern line running all the way to shore and then that chain will drop. So I'm going to release that and just ease it out. Lane's got the engines on so we can do the anchor, but I'm just going to do this right now. 
not sure what I'm gonna do about the dog, who of course has, you know, gotten into there. is a bit dirty so just let me show you what we're gonna do so this is coming up now we have a clam on our fluke look we have a clam on our fluke and we're out off to Montague Harbor um, we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright Thank you to the patrons who have signed up already. Without you, we couldn't refit Tango and bring her up to original glory. So thank you very much, and because of you, we keep putting out these videos. So head over to our Patreon page and check it out. There's a ton of tears, a ton of perks, and a ton of fun. <laughs>